All right, a fight on cable news last week that caused some hand wringing has a connection to a local school board and the races here in the valley. And that connection highlights concerns about big money in national politics being involved in local school board elections. Yeah, 12 News journalist Katie Wilcox breaks down what's happening in just one school board race here in the valley. In Scottsdale, school board candidates hope voters pick in these groups of three. And I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. And I'm running for the Scottsdale School Board. The total amount of money being spent by candidates and then by these outside organizations is just remarkable and concerning. Matt Patinsky, part of the Sharky Lewis and Patinsky team. Why does it concern you? Because the school board is a fabric of our community. This is a nonpartisan race. Campaign finance records show each team raising more than $100,000, but it doesn't stop there. Both teams have received outside spending by independent political action committees. Another 150000 to Sharky, Lewis, and Patinsky from Stand for Children. Executive Director Rebecca Gao said campaigns are more expensive in a presidential election, but there's more to it. And in the last couple years, we've seen an alarming shift, and that's why we got more involved this year on a much um, more robust level across four school districts. She points to spending from groups like 1776 Project PAC, reporting 58000 to Jacobs, Beasley, and Hassler. The PAC did not return my calls or emails. Their founder, conservative commentator Ryan James Gerdusky, recently sparked national outrage during this exchange on CNN when he referenced a recent pager bombing attack. Oh, by me? I never called you an assassin, okay. I mean, I'm not saying you're saying I, mean, I don't... I'm, I'm a supporter of the Palestinians, so I'm used to it. It's yeah, I, well, I hope your beeper doesn't go off. Gerdusky tying these school board races to national controversies. And so I'm afraid that what this money may reflect is that our schools and our classrooms have become a flashpoint of the culture wars, when what they really should be is the flashpoint of learning. Jacobs, Beasley, and Hassler did not agree to an interview for this story, instead sending a statement laying out their priorities. Academic achievement, transparency, funding, and school safety. But their opponents are optimistic they can move focus back to kids. I'd like to make our school boards boring again. I don't think that's the best slogan you can bring. Uh, but we want to make the school boards boring again. We want it to be a place where we celebrate our students. But we'd like to move away from what I think oftentimes are distractions to those real more important topics. And Katie joins us now with a backstory. Katie, we saw that Scottsdale has seen the most money, but what other districts are seeing contributions? Yeah, absolutely. So as we mentioned there, uh, Stanford Children has contributed to four districts around the state, while the 1776 project has put money into about six districts. So we'll have that whole list online. Uh, but they are those six districts are here in Maricopa County, and we've, pro we've um, profiled a few of them in our series. So why is it that these outside groups are contributing? I mean, what do they say that they want? Sure. So Stanford Children, uh, they've been involved in politics for a long time here in Arizona. Um, they want what you might think of as like pretty traditional things, you know, supporting public schools, increasing funding for teachers, that kind of thing. Um, and as they told us to hear, one of the reasons why they're more focused on school districts rather than on state lawmakers is because of what they're seeing from groups like the 1776 PAC. Now, the 1776 PAC is a little bit newer. They just got established back in 2021. They're a result of kind of the COVID pandemic. Um, what they say on their website is that they are looking for conservative values. So while school boards are, again, non-paid, non-partisan positions, certainly the 1776 PAC is run by um, a conservative po commentator who wants to push those conservative values. You're thinking about things like, of course, learning loss, of course, addressing um, improving reading and writing and math, kind of the universal, but also looking at um, really being critical of things like critical race theory, social emotional learning, um, really you know, strong policies about transgender bathrooms and transgender issues in uh, sports. So those are some of those things that are you know, laid out in their list. Mm. So why is it that outside spending is different than what the candidates are raising themselves? I mean, it all comes down to limits, right? Candidates themselves, when they're raising money, there's a contribution limit. You can't really go beyond that. For these outside groups, for political action committees, uh, they can spend as much money as they want, kind of however they want. So that is really the biggest difference. It's the ability to raise and spend without, without those same limits. Yeah. All right, Katie, thank you so much.